In this program, we are going to ask user to enter a number and then we are going to print words corresponding to that number but in reverse order. So if user has entered 153, our output will be 351 in words. So earlier we have seen how to print reverse of a number. So we are going to use that same logic over here. So here I'm asking user to enter the value n and while n is greater than 0, we are going to divide that number by 10. So we get one digit at a time. So in case of 153, when we apply modulus operator with 10, we get 3. So we are applying switch case over the remainder that we have got, which is 3. So these cases will be skipped. This will be printed and this will be skipped again because of this break statement. And that will complete your switch case. And once it completes, we are dividing n with 10. So from 153, when we divide it by 10, we get 15. So program controller will go back at the top again again the same condition will be checked in this case this time it will be 15 greater than 0 which is a true condition so again with this statement we'll find the new remainder now it will be 5 and then 5 will be printed on the output screen then 15 will be divided by 10 so your n will become 1 again the same condition will be checked this time the condition is 1 greater than 0 which is true and at this statement we will get remainder as 1 because 1 modulus 10 is 1 then inside of switch case 1 will be printed and after that n is equal to n which is 1 divided by 10 that will be 0 it will be stored into n when the program controller goes back at the top condition is 0 greater than 0 which is a false condition so this while loop is complete now and that will end your program so at the end of the program your output screen will have this as output 351